very soft and fluffy. Wow. It looks like a freaking d dingus out of it. Punch, come on. You know you only have one face, right? Like. I feel like I have a wig. It's gotten a little bit ridiculous. This is the best one so far. All right, slow down. Welcome back to today's vlog, or welcome to today's vlog. Welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready. I started my vlog a little bit later today, just because, I don't know, I wanted to switch it up from like my whole morning routine situation, because I literally do the same thing every single morning. Putting some dry shampoo in my hair for texture and just soaking up oil, and I'm going to let it sit while... I do this makeup I'm not doing anything new at all I put my light here so that I have some good lighting but yeah it was so funny I uploaded a vlog late the other day I can't remember what day it was now of me like hinting at my Halloween costume and it's so funny because every single person was saying strawberry shortcake <laughs> literally everyone um but I understand why like it doesn't it's not surprising. But no, I'm not going to be strawberry, strawberry shortcake. I'm going to be young Miko. I mean, I showed it in the end of the vlog anyway. But um, I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm wearing the rouge. What is going on here? I did not put this on right. I'm wearing the rouge BC body. Um, we're actually doing a huge like site-wide blowout because we're trying to move our inventory because we have so much stuff and so much old stuff. And the best way to work through your inventory is to do a sale. To just like get things going, get things moving. So I will leave our website linked down below. You know what Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd probably be tattooing for like two or three hours. And oh. I'm not you know, get tattooed for very long. Okay. Uh, Love you. Have a good day. I'm like hardcore PMSing, like in the thick of it. Like I get my period in five days, five or six days, I think. So I'm just in one of those moods that's just like everything is annoying. Um, I'm helping my sister pick out curtains for her house. Yeah, I'm just in one of those moods where like, <laughs> you know, but it's okay. I am still blessed grateful all stupid like stupidity that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of struggles in the world just typical girl nonsense tyler just left to work um and i think today i'm gonna attempt a rosemary loaf i bought an infused oil from aldi the other day like an infused olive oil and i feel like using that in the loaf is going to be really really good i wish i had rosemary sprigs but i don't so i'm just going to use that because there's sprigs in the um oil so i figured that could be a fun loaf to try and if it's good maybe i don't know i'll bring it for thanksgiving or something but gotta test it out first of course i think i'm not sure 100 percent. i t think i told you guys that i ordered myself a new perfume because i finished my um vanilla woods and that's what i'm kind of trying to do i'm trying to phase out all of my old perfumes not by getting rid of them or throwing them away or anything like that just finishing them because they're all really delicious perfumes they just aren't exciting to me right now like i kind of want like all fresh new sense minus a couple like there's some that i'll still always keep like my um my wedding perfume i don't know i just want some new fun scents so i ordered that was what i told myself i was gonna order for myself this month last month i ordered myself those wine glasses that i love from cb2 no not cb2 crate and barrel and i'm like okay this month 
it's kind of a splurge. I think the perfume was like 150 bucks. But I was like, when I get my check from YouTube, I'm going to order myself that perfume. And that's going to be like my gift to myself this month. So I waited the whole month. I didn't get myself anything. And things like home decor don't count. Like buying garland doesn't count for like me. And I have three things on like my wish list of what I want. I usually like to write things that I want in my notes app because a lot of the times you'll want them just because you're seeing them a lot and then when it comes time to like let's say a month or two has passed and you go to purchase it you're like oh, I don't want this anymore so I always like to write things down in my notes app and then once I um come time that I'm like okay I have a little extra spending money what do I want to buy for myself I will go into that um note and I will be like okay is any of the are any of these things still like sparking my excitement still sparking my 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 um interest and so like i said i only have three things i have a pair of sneakers a pair of boots and that perfume so i ordered the perfume for myself because that one just felt the most exciting to me in the moment and it is called okay my brow pencil is being stupid it's called bianco latte by giordini Giordini di Toscana and it's a niche fragrance which I actually am really excited about because it's not something that you can like get in Sephora or anything like that. I got it on a website called LuckySense.com. It is a legit website but it carries a lot of niche fragrances. They carry like Byredo, I think they carry um, Mason Francis Kirk de Jean. like they carry like a whole bunch of niche fragrances. It's a lot that I've never even heard of before and you can order samples of them like a small vial. Um, I think it was like five dollars. Which is pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie, for a sample, but it's better than doing a blind buy, especially if you can't get the, the perfume or try out the perfume in person. I'd rather spend $5 to figure out if I like the scent or not than spend $150 and be like, great, I hate this perfume. So I did that and I was able to get a couple of wares out of the vial and I was like, okay, once I am at that point, I'm going to buy myself that perfume. But I told myself that I had to finish my Vanilla Woods first. So I wore that literally for like two weeks straight until I finished it. And then I was like, okay, I finished it. I got my little paycheck from YouTube. So I'm going to buy myself that perfume. So that was what I bought myself as my gift to myself this month. And I'm so excited. It's supposed to get here. It keeps saying today, but it shipped like two days ago. And it's coming from California. So I don't know. Like... I feel like that's very fast. Let me see. Yeah, it says Thursday by 9 p.m. And I just feel like that is so quick. And there's no way. It says it's moving through the network. Departed USPS facility in Santa Clarita, California. I think it's going to get here tomorrow, which is fine. And I'm super excited about it. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys if you guys want to check out like a sample or something. Um like I did because I really enjoyed being able to do that like sample out of perfume and then see how I liked it are you guys buying anything from the Sephora sale I am literally like the worst influencer or whatever because I just feel like not that those sales are just ridiculous because it's not especially if you need to restock stuff that you already use it is the best time to buy like one or two with the sale but people be buying the most ridiculous amount of shit like you know you only have one face right like how many different blushes do you need? Like, I have been using the same blush every single day, every day, for almost one year. And this barely looks touched. So why do you need 85 blushes? Like, I get it. A lot of them are pretty, but why? Why do you need 16 bronzers? Get, like, maybe one or two that you really like. I've been using, again, the same bronzer since last year. And it's taken a beating. I use a lot of bronzer. So now, like, when the sale comes, I might repurchase this one because it's my favorite. I might try a new one. Or I might get the Physician's Formula one because I love the butter bronzer. But, like, other than that, the only thing that I usually ever buy is, like, if I really want a perfume, if I want to rack up on, like, my skincare, or if there's, like, any products that I love that... I'm running out of, then I'm like, okay, I'll get one or two during the sale. Don't feel like you need to just buy stuff just to buy stuff for the sale. Please don't. Let me be the one to DM you into. And you guys know I love shopping. I love products. I love all that stuff. But 
it's gotten a little bit ridiculous honestly like it's gotten a little wild in my opinion all right now i'm gonna sit down and let's do this hair time to do this hair for the day i already did my makeup and i just let the dogs outside and it was drizzling so my hair got like <laughs> weird kinks in it of course if you don't have like naturally straight hair your hair gets kinks like so quickly so we need to fix that so i can get ready for the day because i do still have tons more that i have to do so today i'm going to be using the timo airflow and i am so so excited to say that timo is sponsoring this portion of today's video if you've watched my vlogs before any of my videos you have seen me talk about timo's products before at this point my entire collection of hair tools minus i believe two products are all from timo i was introduced to them last year when they had reached out to me and I've been using their hair tools ever since and they're so great. I recommend them time and time again because I truly, truly love and believe in all the products. And this one is super, super cool. So this is essentially a flat iron, as you can see, has the two plates in there and a curler in one. You can see the shape of the flat iron is not your traditional shape. It is rounded. So it is so easy to run your hair through this and get the most beautiful curls and waves something that is so unique and so important about this hair tool is that there is an on and off button as you can see here i'm not sure if you can see the light flashing there are five different temperatures and you can hear air blowing through this you know hence the name airflow this tool blows cold air i'm going to turn it off just so i can talk to you guys about it you guys have heard me talk about how important the cold shot is whenever you're doing a blowout if you've seen many times when um professional hairstylists or you know anyone doing their hair will usually curl their hair and then let it set whether they put them in rollers and pin them let the entire head cool and then they brush through it or doing a blow dry i've talked to you guys about it so many times it is so important for the long lasting of your style to let the entire hair cool and it's a, there's a scientific reason behind it it's all about the chemical change that goes on in your hair i get very dorky and nerdy when it comes to this stuff because i did go to cosmetology school and i was fascinated by the by the fact that it has to do with the bonds in your hair once the bonds are heated up that is when it's able to take form hence curling iron crimper blow dryer straightener but once you cool it that is when your hair the bonds in your hair completely lock and that's what gives you the long lasting style so the fact that this has a cool shot in a straightener slash curling iron is so innovative it is so high tech when i was in cosmetology school we did not have anything that had this type of tool at all we curled the hair we pinned it we let it sit and then once it was cool we unpinned it and let all the curls out i have already used it before because i do like to test the products before i share them with you so that i really know what i'm talking about and i'm not just going off of a first impression so i'm going to turn the fan off for a second because i do want to run the flat iron portion of it through what is happening here these front pieces are okay but this right here i want that a little bit straighter before I go in and curl it so it is heating up right now I'm going to put a little bit of the Timo smoothing and nourishing hair oil very very little because I don't like too much but it is not a heavy oil at all I cannot use heavy oils in my hair because I have very greasy hair I just need very lightweight oils when it comes to my hair so oil is in and I'm just gonna pass the flat iron through it and i just want this part straight just simple i don't need any wave or anything to it we're just gonna straighten these weird kinks out so you can see how nice and shiny and this just makes the hair so smooth it doesn't pull which my other flat iron definitely like pulls at pieces of my hair but you can just see how beautiful and smooth and shiny I got the fan going. We're gonna do some curls in this hair. So quick and so easy. If you don't wanna walk around with a whole bunch of tools, I am all about using less tools for more styles. And the fact that it just glides 
so seamlessly. You can definitely do tighter curls with this, which I can show you really quickly. That's not my personal style, but you can do it. Just going tighter and twisting. There you go. Look at that. Like, look at how good that looks. And it's so easy. One tool. It's so smooth. The pass is, it just glides right through because of the plates. So I'm going to link the Timo Airflow down below along with my coupon code. Um, so you guys can save a little bit of money. Thank you so much to the Timo team for wanting to work with me time and time again. The tools are so incredible. You guys have seen the Timo Porta. You've seen the volumizer, the blow dry brush. I have so many other tools and I can't recommend them enough. Any of them is going to give you beautiful hair. I just love it so much. So let's get on with the vlog. A little while later, I'm all done up, feeling very, you know, really love my hair a lot aside from the fact that i need to get it done it's so long but anyways i like skipped breakfast today i went straight for lunch um and i had look at my animals they're all ridiculous um but anyways i'm about to get somewhat comfy throw on like a sweatshirt because it's a little bit cold in my house right now you guys if you don't own one of these already please do yourself a favor this is one of the best items i have ever purchased this lamp right here this candle smells delicious too but this lamp right here you can get it on amazon there's so many different versions of it i just really like this really pretty delicate kind of vintage looking style this is a candle warmer so you essentially it's a lamp you turn it on turn it on and off when you turn it on, it lights the entire room with the scent of whatever candle you have underneath there. You can lower the light. You can make it super bright. It gives such a good ambiance and it makes your candles smell, I promise you, five times stronger. It's so good. Only thing is, is you don't burn the actual candle. Like I burned this about halfway and then the scent just wasn't filling up my room. So I was like, you know what? Let me put it under my lamp. Amazing. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. I got it, like I said, on Amazon. There's so many beautiful versions. Um, but I, I love how just pretty and delicate this one looks. I should have done a what I eat in a day today because I'm home all day. That would have been very, very smart of me. Um, you guys, I'm also very much obsessed with this whole situation. Just very, very into it. I'm about to clean off my... Is this considered an island if it's still attached to the entire cabinet? Like, it's like it breaks off and this whole part is like, I don't know. I mean, who cares, right? It's such a dumb question. I am gonna make some bread. I feel like I need something to get me in good spirits, something to zone out. off my surface because bro these little fruit flies are the worst but I just need to clean the surface off because I'm gonna have to put the dough on the counter and yeah we just need clean clean surfaces for that If any of you guys are following along with this bread making journey here. We've got flour. I bought a brand new thing. I had tried like a organic something flour, bread flour, um, finished that one. So this is a new one that I wanna try. This is the gold metal premium quality bread flour. So we got the flour. You need a very large bowl. Super duper big, like that. I need to actually pull up my, oh, we need yeast. 
I feel like I have a wig because my hair is so long. Okay, so this is the yeast that I have. You can also buy it in like a container, like a little tub, but I just bought those little packets when I was first trying it out. So we have that. I need to find the exact recipe that I had followed. I think it was on TikTok. I have to look. Okay, I found the video and it's a video on TikTok and the ingredients are bread flour, oil, salt, sugar, water. So for my oil, instead of using regular oil, I'm going to use this one here. This is rosemary infused extra virgin olive oil um, and it has, you can see all of these sprigs of rosemary in here. So I just thought that would be really, really delicious because rosemary, I think I've said it before, rosemary is my number one favorite herb. Me and Tyler love rosemary. Rosemary, basil, I think rosemary and basil are like my number two, my, my two. Um, and then I remember last time I felt like the bread was a little on the salty side. So I'm going to do a little bit less salt than what it called for. I will leave the video linked down below, but let's just let's just do it. My counter is clean, so this is good. Yeast and egg. Go ahead and heat your water for about 30 seconds and then add in two. How much water was it? A cup of water. I think it's supposed to heat for 30 seconds. I don't remember. Active dry yeast and egg. Go ahead and heat your water for about 30, 30 seconds. seconds. And then add in two and a quarter teaspoons of active yeast to the water, set that aside. Two and a quarter, which I think that's how much is in here. So we're gonna use one packet of this in the warm water that we're about to get. I'm still following the recipe because I have only done this specific recipe once, but this was the best outcome out of all the ones that I've done. Okay, so we have the cup of water. The packet of yeast goes in. This is Rapid Rise Instant Yeast. This is just the one that I have. It worked well for me last time, so I'm using it again. And I know this starts to like look weird. I remember last time. Okay, so that's the side. Three cups of flour. All right, so we're supposed to do three. tablespoon each of sugar and salt so okay tablespoon Three cups of, of sugar tablespoon of salt but again we're not doing a tablespoon because that's too much how in the world am i going to get a tablespoon of salt into this or i guess less than a tablespoon Himalayan salt. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to do a couple more twists of this. Okay, that's it. And then your water should look like this after a few minutes. Add three tablespoons. Okay, so I have to let my water get kind of weird um, and then add the oil to it. So I'm going to give it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give it a second. Okay, my water is looking all musty, dusty, crusty. It looks so weird. Like it just looks like clay almost. Three tablespoons of oil. And Three tablespoons of oil into the mixture. So we're gonna do this. Let me shake it up real good to make sure I get all the flavor in there. Mm. So we're gonna do
one. It looks so gross in the yeast thing. Three. And we're gonna crack it in here. Okay, love that. Because I hate washing dishes, even though my dishwasher washes them. I don't even like touching dishes. Putting it in here. I'm using a fork. That's just what I have on me right at this second. And then this is like the last part you have to do until anything else happens. So it's really easy. It just takes a long time for the bread to do anything or the dough to do anything. Okay, here's my dough ball. So now I need to get a towel and cover it. And you're supposed to let it sit for like a couple of hours. That's the part that's like not fun is like, it takes so long to do what it's supposed to do that you're just like, oh my God, can I just put it in the oven and see what happens already? But you have to let it rise. So I'm taking a clean towel. I love these towels. I got these last year. Did I get them? No, this year, earlier this year for Easter. I mean, look at this color. This color is me. So you literally just cover it and you put it to the side. So I'm gonna clean up my disaster while I wait because now it has to sit. It usually just has to double in size. So one hour, two hours, three hours. I'm not like in a rush. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing and then I'll come check on it. I think that they say that the longer you let it rise, the better it comes out. So I guess we'll see, but I need to throw away all this and re-clean my surface because it's dirty all over again. And now I think for the time being, like for the meantime, I'm gonna really try getting something going with this room. I think that I need to really zone out, especially with like the funk that I'm in because of my, jeez, my cycle. I think I just need to like put on a YouTube video and zone out and listen to music or tv or a podcast or watch some youtube and just get this room together because i cannot i feel like this is the story of my life like i cannot function in this room because it has no order and i just don't think i'm taking the best I'm, i don't think i'm making the best use of the space because it's a decent sized room like it's a bedroom so this thing has plenty of room i just yeah, I gotta figure this out. So I think we're gonna do that for a little while. Okay, so I'm happy I at least got this room cleaned. And while I was cleaning everything up, my brain just started turning because I'm like, okay, what can we do in here? And yeah, this rug has to go. This rug was never going to stay here. 
um because it's just way too like it's tiny for this space um so it's definitely gonna move but wow and it's echoing in here it, there so much needs to be done here i have my strawberry shortcake <laughs> Situation here some stuff that I need to figure out what to do with My closet is pretty much cleaned out and I think I told you guys we're going to open this up and I just want like shelves like a shelf Shelf and then maybe like a row of clothes to hang and then I'm gonna figure out what else But I think I kind of want to just like browse the internet for some ideas I don't have perfume on today you know, What is my next perfume that I need to finish? Lenny! It's just Tyler. What's the next perfume I need to finish? Mm, Libre, I guess, but this shit is so strong. Or I could do this one. Hello. Hi. I need to let this bread sit it hasn't been very long but letting the bread sit and i'm just going to do some browsing on the internet for what i could possibly do for my closet office situation and i think i'm going to make a list of every single thing that i need to buy organization wise bins jewelry holders things like that so that i can start checking that off not now but like when it's time so i got my notebook my laptop and my Stanley. Those are the three, the trifecta. Laptop, phone, gigantic water bottle. My face has been looking so glowy lately. I think it's because I've been wearing highlighter again. And this is like the oldest highlight ever. It's the Desi and Katie collab, um, Mirame. Like, it just looks, I forgot how much I like that highlighter. That's actually the only highlighter I think I have left. I got rid of everything else. Let me put my rings on before I lose them because I am that person that will. Well, I'm going to try to get like inspo images. I like to do that a lot, especially on Canva. Canva is what I always use whenever I want to create spreadsheets or like, not spreadsheets, but like visuals, um, graphics, anything like that. I always use Canva. So um, maybe I'll show you guys once I finish creating one and kind of just figure out my vibe for that room, um, what is kind of going on. I've shown you guys this one before, but I before we even we're looking at houses. I had already kind of designed the rooms in my mind. I have like a whole folder of just stuff that I've created. And I do this for like myself. I don't do this for other people. I don't get paid to do this. I don't do this as a job. It's just something that I find a lot of comfort in just letting myself zone out and just create little images like this. So for example, this image is basically what you guys see in my room. Um, I don't have any of this though. I have no curtains. I don't have this. I do have this though. I bought that, but it's not in that room. But I also have this little lamp thing, but like all of that I don't have. And this was what I wanted office wise, but clearly that's not going to happen anymore. I have a bedroom situated, which this is changing because it's going to stay really similar, but the bed that we want is not this one. It's different. And with the way that our house is like our bedroom, we have window all behind our bed so i can't put like something like that really this was literally like i said before we even bought this house um before we looked at anything i had all different colors squared away like everything kind of this was a living room i think i even had a dining room at some point mocked up what's this one? Oh, this is another living room which i have these i ended up buying these i don't have this table but i have something really similar to it we're th we still want to get this couch. This couch is from Rooms to Go. Yeah, it's should it so it opens up. It's the Cindy Co Wow, Cindy Crawford Monterey Park two piece right arm sectional chase, and they also have a left facing one. Just looks nice and comfy. Looks really big and good, and I really want to stay with a nice big comfy couch because we spend a lot of time on the couch. So that's the couch that we essentially want once we're ready to get it. Hold on, it's saying sale. What kind of sale? Yeah, like look at how comfy that looks. These are these are like other people's photos. Like that looks so comfortable. And I like that it's light enough without looking too light. I like that it's 
a thick type of fabric. I, I love this sofa. This looks so comfy right here. I so definitely want to get that once it's time to. But that was a little image that I made right there. We don't have this rug. I like the one that we have more. I actually have this exact pillowcase. I don't have these, but you know, this was kind of like the overall vibe and we kind of have it. My living room's a mess, but we kind of have the vibe going. Um, so I kind of want to do something like this before my office room um, and then just pull inspo. Okay, I came to check the bread. Oh shit, it is huge. It's big. Do you want to do the honors of punching it? Go ahead, punch just it. Just punch it? Yeah. No, like punch, come on. Oh. Well, you already got the air out. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here comes this you guy. You start punching stuff, so it's hard to turn it off when you turn it on. Oh, it's hard to turn it off. <laughs> Do you smell the rosemary? The rosemary? The rosemary. Yes. It's gonna be really good. Is it just the oil? Mm -hmm. Next up, so here's what the dough is looking like. I think now I have to <laughs> sprinkle the. I don't know. I don't trust it, and I'm not trying to eat no yuckies so let's clean this off again okay let me pull up this um picture or this video again so we gotta put some flour i'm just taking off my ring so we're gonna put some flour on the surface And then we're gonna take this out. This was rising for quite a bit of time, to be honest. Okay, and now we're gonna knead it for five minutes. So, I don't even know what kneading means, but here we are. Y'all, I'm telling you, if I can do this, so can you. This is so simple. You guys asked for it, so here it is. All you're gonna need is Okay, so I'm gonna put it into this. I'll try this out. I've never done it in this one before. I'm gonna butter the pan. Okay, I'm gonna preheat the oven just to have the oven getting hot. And she said, put it in the bowl and let it rise. So I'm just gonna let it sit in there and let it rise. Oven is going and I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat cause I'm getting hungry. I think I want, my crispy chicken rings. Oh shit. I have this Thai and cashew top salad kit. It has green cabbage, red cabbage, green leaf lettuce, carrots, green onion, roasted cashews, coconut flakes, Thai spiced wonton strips, and creamy Thai dressing, which that sounds delicious. All right, let's taste this little salad combo real quick. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. You're not gonna make it a prettier shape? Looks like a freaking d dingus over there. What do you mean? It's all lopsided. Like, flatten that sucker out a bit. Make it more presentable. Jeez. It's gonna bust up and... Uh, on that side. Not like, just, you know, move this thing over a bit. Like, Are your hands clean? Yeah, I just washed them. This is going in the oven. I think it's supposed to go in for 
15 minutes. 18 minutes. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. What? Yes, sir. It looks good. Oh, got that? No. It was so rude. Okay, you guys, I demolished that salad. It's so good. That it's down already? It said 18 minutes. <laughs> oh shit. See why I said it looks all the time? I'm gonna give it some time to cool and then open her up. And then you told me my salad looked nasty. I did not. I said it looked good. No, and then I said it does, and you said no. I, I got it on you camera. Said, do you want some? I thought it said do you want some Alright guys, here's what it looks like. It definitely needs to cool because it still keeps cooking. It is very lopsided, but that's okay. As long as it tastes good, I don't care. I can fix the, yeah, it looks nice and fluffy, but it definitely has to cool off. So we're gonna let this cool off and then we will cut into it and try it together. Tyler just left back to work, so it's time to cut this baby open and try it out. I just got a new bread knife, so. Let's see. Lenny, Jack. I'm gonna do a very, very thin slice because I'm not hungry at all. I would like to bake it with rosemary, for sure. I just put it in the toaster to see how it is, but here's what it looks like inside. Literally like a loaf of bread. It's very soft and fluffy. So I think I have figured out the inside, for sure. Because it's very fluffy. It's been sitting out here for like an hour, cooling off. So yeah, and it's really cool to just like cut off a slice of bread. like. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on this next piece and we're gonna taste it toasted. Putting a little bit of some Kerrygold butter, which like most of the time, it's not like you're eating flavorful bread, like bread is just bread. It's good. Mm. And with the butter, it's good. Damn, that's actually so good. I'm gonna do like another half of a slice. That's really, really good, you guys. I'm gonna do like this little slice. A, a dash more salt, I think that it would be perfect because this is very, very good. Like, I'm actually really proud of myself. This is the best one so far. I'll definitely get like um, rosemary sprigs, like fresh rosemary. Because I think that would make the world of a difference, having that fresh. But overall, this one's really good. I really like this recipe. So I'll leave it linked. That's gorgeous. I love a toasty, a toasty little bread. Oof. I think I'm going to make these for dinner. It's a 20-minute cook time. And they're burrito-style Tex-Mex turkey tacos with pico de gallo and red pepper crema. So literally, four steps. Cook the rice, cook the meat, add all the sauce and stuff, and then put them in tor <coughs> tortillas. And that sounds like the perfect amount of work for today. Ooh, you guys, look at this. Yum. This is so good. 100%. I, I'm telling you, a touch more salt and it would have been perfect, but this is a 9 out of 10. A little bit more salt would have made it a 10. Perfection. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys Be sure to check out the airflow from Tymo or really any of the Tymo products because they are so so amazing Enjoy 30% off with my coupon code that is also down below and I will see you guys tomorrow